God, she did not die. Not I'm, yet. About to, yeah. Yeah. I'm about to yeah. turn it off. Hey, yeah. 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 Your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty mouth. No, yeah. But right. I was so glad she didn't die. You have a couple of things that just make you worry. Okay, so the whole thing is basically how she wants to grow up and become a mom. That's so right. the, the part that kind of triggered like the death flag for me is when it was basically she was taking care of our MC throwing stuff mm-hmm. like that and then she's talking about how you know basically she's like the mom in this and immediately i thought like she's dead i i i i think she's uh i don't think she's gonna make it past next episode at the end by the end of it i what, agree if she, if she dies next episode i'm quitting the show oh my, oh my god, god. I'm the show. i believe wow. i believe in plot yeah, armor right? the mc will to see be fair i i think she'll have a episodes and next episode so i'll give i'll give ku kind of credit and faith there but in terms of her living the entirety of the series no shot my man <laughs> I I have annoying, so i don't care either way <laughs> All right, oh, girl taylor you used to be like her <laughs> i did not used to be like her <laughs> you used to be a little wow. girl what happened <laughs> Yeah, physically I was like her at some point, but uh, <laughs> I don't think we had the uh, the village, you know, environment aspect and being right. sacrificed to a <laughs> you know to deity fair, of sorts. <laughs> like I would have more faith in her living if the MC wasn't like a zombie. Like if he actually like mm. you know did stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess just, if you know he wasn't kind of there, right? if he wasn't some spirit thing that turned to a rock to a wolf and then to a human <laughs> yeah, without understanding. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So, so that's what I will say from the, from this episode is that I enjoyed the first half of the episode where we get to see, um, you know, Joan in his human form traveling across the lands. He's died on multiple occasions because <laughs> he has no concept of feeding himself and all these are dangers. You know, he just straight walks off cliffs. <laughs> um, so I, I enjoyed that because it's very fitting to like this alien esque entity that is mm-hmm. just learning. It's essentially a toddler at this point. Um, and the introduction of March and everything, I think is really well done. You know, it gives insight into, you know, what other shows have done before where, you know, you have these villages and they have these traditions of many, many years and how you can never go against them. And, you know, I, I do feel greatly for Mark because of, you know, what she wants to aspire to. And she just gets, you know, uh, a bad hand, unfortunately, yeah. that, that puts her into these events. Um, but then towards the second half. You know, when she finally stumbles across Joan and he's in his zombie form and, and reanimates. Um, I That's was a little crazy. surprised that I knew Mark was kind of scared shitless, but the fact that she still just stayed there regardless to let him like reanimate and do his thing. Um, and then the whole scene where, you know, he's they're feeding him fruit and stuff like a dog. Like, OK, yeah, I get that again of like he's learning, but I felt like it was it was dragged out like way longer than I it felt it needed long, yeah. to be. Um so I think for me, I'm interested to see how quickly Joan as a human will evolve. Is he going to evolve just because of what Mark is teaching him? Or is he going to get obviously drawn into like this whole ritual tradition? And, and in that way, he kind of learns different human aspects. Um, I just don't really know, because the only other character we really get some insight into is the, the sister figure that was mm-hmm. trying to save Mark. Um, and I don't think she's going to make it. No, shot. she's probably going to get taken out as well but I like I how we're, just, we're just, we just think everybody's gonna die in this show just because <laughs> pretty pretty wow. much i don't think it's a happy story it's just this being with no feelings that's gonna develop feelings but uh, hey what's the cost of developing those feelings hey what everybody it, dies. What it costs you the, exactly. the very little faith we have in this silent voice got to have any kind of happy ending <laughs> silent voice i only said march sure. um, i only believe in march okay if anyone yeah. else dies it's this fine. was okay. this was the oh, first God. the first episode with an opening so like it was so weird how like, we had so many characters in the opening, and then I guess people have powers. Like some someone's casting magic in the opening, so it's like yeah, this is way more supernatural than I thought it'd be. So I kind of I kind of don't... don't like that they showed a ton of stuff. Yeah, that was yeah. a little bit. Yeah, that's too bad. Um, yeah, but so, we do have twenty episodes this season. Is it twenty? It is Holy twenty. Shit. I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. So we have we have a decent amount of time to see some characters, but so, and I'm, I'm sure kinda, you know we'll see how much how fast they burn through them. <laughs> like I'm kind of worried about like the power, yeah, what they show in the opening. Like it's kind of not what I expected from the show, and I don't know. I'm kind of worried about the, that direction. So I kind of want to be more like simple, just like just have you know just Joan just exploring the world. It sounds like they're gonna go more, way more into like other characters having more. Where I feel like I, I really feel like. It, it was more of a solo show, Joanna, have been like really good. I don't know. 
Yeah, I feel like with the opening, uh, as it is, it's going to go in a completely different direction than what we wanted, to be honest. Um, there's, there's no way in hell it's going to continue with the pacing that episode one gave it. In a sense. Yeah. The thing is, I don't yeah. even really know what I want from this show. Like, it's just like I don't know what to expect. I, I know, uh, I know. Taylor mentioned before that this is shows like eating at her, like she just wants to read it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really like it, and I mean, I don't like. What... When I looked it up and like read what people had liked about the series, I I really didn't see any spoilers. People that were talking about it really didn't share any spoilers at all. They just basically said like that feeling that you get from like the first episode, you know, is the type of feeling to expect from the show. Like that real like human drama kind of thing, um, telling human stories. So I even though I know what you're talking about from the opening of like magic and stuff like that, but I don't think. Like, I don't think this is going to be, like, a re-zero type of thing or, like, any of those other shows where it gets really intense with those types of elements. I think they exist, maybe, in the show, but that they're more of, like, the back focus. Almost kind of like that one show that we're watching this season, that Magic of the Saint is omnipotent thing, Mm -hmm. where magic does exist, but it's not, like, the focus by any means. Uh Um, But I I could be wrong, but that's just a feeling that I got. And so I'm I'm willing to be patient. I'm not really scared. I've heard nothing but great things about it. So it sounds to me like if they adapt it exactly like the manga is, I mean, it sounds like it'll be great. So I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I was just very surprised at that opening. So I'll. Was this the first week with the opening? (laughs) Yeah, because the first, the first, the first episode (laughs) ended with Tada Hikaru. Mm -hmm. And then they Mm -hmm. used that for the opening. And then yep, you had okay. a different ending song, so I don't, okay. I don't even remember the ending song. <laughs> I don't remember either. Yeah, but that's, I think it's okay because fucking Yutada Hikaru is owning it on the. <laughs> it's just instant. The ending song is just instrumental now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But, but remember though, this is at the time of this podcast, we've only seen two episodes. Yes. Yeah. So we're yeah. not very far ahead at all. Yeah. And, and we have, my as word. you said, twenty. March we dies, got a long done. way to go. <laughs> Jesus. If March dies, I'm done. Mark it right yeah. here. But right, like, oh my I, god. I, I still really don't know what to expect. Like even don't going die, into Mark. This. We need Kuna. Yeah. See, before but that I don't know, I, before that opening, I thought I thought she was gonna die, but now it's like now seeing all these characters like, oh, we can actually like have a explained set of cast, so I I don't think she's gonna die. So we'll, but, we'll see. I took it as David like she can die because there's so much more cast members that they can <laughs> oh, go god. through. Oh so, god. We'll, we will see. Okay. I didn't even think I didn't think anything of it until basically she she raised the death flag the how she wanted to be a mom and technically she's a mom right now. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Everything just went dead silent, so I think it's good. <laughs> That's a no, he... she texted us. He says boo, more she needs to die. <laughs> <laughs> this man. I am shocked <laughs> and appalled, sir. She's just a child. Actually, honestly, like I, I probably would tear up. I, I would prefer her to not die, just because I don't like emotional things. I'll tell you what: if she does die, I'm gonna come back for one more podcast. And I'm just gonna rant about why she did not deserve to die. But I will save that for that moment. Okay. <laughs>